Hey everybody, Black Ninja 797 here, and welcome back to Myth Busting Mondays. In today's video, everybody, we got a lot of awesome myths to show off, but at the very beginning of the episode, I just wanted to give a nice big welcome back to Drages. Drages is one of the original four that started helping me out with Myth Busting Mondays alongside Dan and Glabersko. And I wanted to give him a nice shout out because it wouldn't be possible to end up doing any of the old episodes without him. So shout out to Drages and welcome back my friend. Now in regards to the final myth everybody, the final myth is going to be can Wit Taker kill zombies with his grenade launcher? And it's funny because this would probably end up being a given but no one's ever bothered to test this or ask this. Mostly given the fact is that whenever Wit Taker shoots his grenade launcher things have died down. But what would happen if we put some special infected in front of his way? Would they end up dying? That is going to be what we're going to be testing with the final myth later on in the episode. But yeah, guys, when all is said and done, I hope you guys end up enjoying this week's episode of Myth Busting Mondays. Myth. Do bots take less damage from spitter acid than human players? Alrighty guys, myth number one is submitted in by JJ Lipscom. Now JJ, the way that we're going to be testing your myth is that we're going to be having an extra bot survivor, and we're going to be spawning them in right next to us, so that way when we get hit by spitter acid, we can see both our health and the bot's health, and if the bot receives less damage than the human player, or ends up having it where their health goes down a lot slower than the human player, at that point we will have our answer. But first, we need a bot, so I'm going to be using console commands, and I've given birth to Lewis 2.0. Hi, how are you? And now this is where the fun begins. So Dan's going to end up spawning in spitter acid with console commands, just because it's more easier, more practical than just spawning in a spitter and getting her to spit on us. So as you guys can see from the health bars, that Drage's health bar goes down super fast in comparison to bot Lewis. In fact, it's such a big difference that Lewis managed to still stay in green HP, and Drage's got incapacitated. So that means that myth number one here is going to end up being confirmed. The bots take significantly less damage in comparison to a human player when it comes to spitter acid. Myth. Can the van in the panic event on dead air run over the tank? Alrighty guys, so for myth number two, this is submitted in by Ace of Spades. So Ace, thank you for submitting a myth our way. We appreciate you, my G. Now guys, when it comes to the final results of this myth, we thought that it was going to end up being a given. We just thought that because all the other things that we've tried to test this van on, since they didn't die, we thought that the tank would also not die. And for the most part, that is accurate because the tank, every single time we did this up to a certain point, just did not die even though he went directly through the van and was completely intangible to it. For the times though that the tank did die, it was so inconsistent that I'm just gonna write them off as flukes and just say that the myth is busted because this van has not managed to kill anything so far and the tank literally, pun intended, face tanked the van. So I think that for the most part, this myth is pretty much busted and self-explanatory. But let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Myth. Can the helicopter on Dark Carnival break a smoker's tongue? Okay guys, myth number three submitted in by MJB2010. I like how that the first three myths of today's episode come from the YouTube comments. We really don't get too many in the YouTube comments, a lot of them mostly come from the Discord now. So guys, please do submit more also in the YouTube comments, I'd really love to see what you guys come up with in there as well. But now we go back to the myth. So the way that we're going to do this everybody is we're going to be having a floating little platform right above the helicopter. And then I'm going to stand next to the helicopter, so that way it's just at the right angle, so that way the smoker is going to have the desire to grab me at a vertical angle, with the blades being in between the two of us. So it looks like the smoker does indeed grab me, and as you guys can see, the blades are clearly hitting the smoker's tongue. So if this were to be confirmed, the smoker would have let go of me by now, but he's not, and he's still trying to kill me. Which means that myth number three here is also going to be busted, the smoker's tongue will not break, because of helicopter blades, but I do find it kind of silly though that that's the case because I feel like that this should in my opinion because the helicopter blades can do things like kill the tank in one shot, but it for some reason does not break the tongue which I find weird, but I mean hey I didn't make the game code and it just is what it is. Myth. Can Jimmy Gibbs Jr. spawn in the atrium in survival mode? Okay guys, myth number four is going to be submitted in by Zoe. Now this myth is something that I like. This is creative. Because Jimmy Gibbs, I never seen him in any other game mode, 
other than just the base campaign. In fact, in the base campaign, in my entire time playing Left 4 Dead, for him to spawn naturally, that I'm aware of, I have only ever seen him four single times. And survival mode, since there's zombies absolutely everywhere, you would think that there would possibly be Jimmy Gibbs Jr., but as far as I'm aware, I have never seen him do this. So let's test something. Let's just see if Jimmy Gibbs Jr. can even spawn in survival mode in the absolute first place. So we're going to just load up a just random map. We're going to load up Dark Carnival, and it does look he does spawn. That's a good thing, but we need to see if he spawns on dead center and also the atrium in general. Now in terms of spawning on at least dead center, it looks like that Jimmy Gibbs also does spawn in. And now let's test the atrium. So any other generic map works, specifically dead center also works. Now what about Atrium, because this is going to be the one that Jimmy Gibbs is associated with because this is where a stock car is and all that good stuff. And when it comes to this, it looks like that he can indeed spawn in Survival Atrium. So what does this mean about the myth? Does this mean that we're going to end up just saying confirmed and just calling it a day? Here's the thing though, is that even though that could be possible, I don't think that we should. I feel like that'd be too easy because let's talk about statistics and a little bit of interesting things about Jimmy Gibbs real quick. So when it comes to Jimmy Gibbs' spawn rate, he only has a 5% chance to spawn in in a given campaign, and so that means that you have to get really lucky to find Jimmy. Not only that, but in addition to the testing here today, I also did some research on Google and found some things. I found access to the Left 4 Dead game files specifically talking about Jimmy Gibbs Jr. And in there, it also talked about how he spawns. Specifically with Jimmy Gibbs' spawns, it looks like that according to the game files, he can only spawn in naturally in the base campaign. No realism, no verses, and lastly, no survival mode. So you can spawn him in artificially, but according to the game code, you cannot spawn him in. Which means that specifically if you want to spawn him in survival mode, you have to use cheats. Now Zoe, since your myth here does not specify if you want to know if whether or not Jimmy Gibbs will spawn in naturally or if you can do it artificially, I think it'd be best to leave the myth at plausible. Because given the fact that he can spawn in and it's just not a flat out no, does technically give this myth wiggle room, especially based off the wording where you do not specify, my friend. So I think it's best that we leave it here. Okay guys, so now we move on to the final myth and the final myth is once again going to be can Wit Taker kill specials with his grenade launcher? So I'm really looking forward to seeing whether or not that the man, the myth, the legend Wit Taker can use his ultimate redneck powers and slay some zombies. Let's do this. Myth, can Wit Taker kill special infected with his grenade launcher? Okay guys, the final myth is going to be submitted in by Tyler. So let's do this. Let's fly over to where Wit Taker is and we're going to put some special infected in front of the giant truck. And we're just going to let him open fire and see if he can just yippee ki these motherfuckers. Alright, here we go. So we're spawning in some special infected now, and shortly we're about to have chaos. Alright, everybody, here we go. So, Wit Taker, get your grenade launcher, my buddy, and let's blow up some zombies. Three, two, one. And, yep, I saw some bodies, alright. Now, funny thing is, is that from the carnage here, there actually is some special infected that are still alive. The Charger, the Tank, and the Witches all did not die. But the Boomer, the Smoker, and all the weaker special infected did. So we didn't kill them all, but that's confirmed in my opinion. That was an epic myth, an epic explosion, and an epic final result. But yeah, everybody, that's going to be it here for this week's episode of Myth Busting Mondays. And I do truly hope you guys ended up enjoying it. If you did, please consider dropping a like comment, subscribe, follow, and all that beautiful stuff. And once again, welcome back, Drages. We missed you, man. Hopefully you'll be in more episodes in the future. But yeah, guys, if you'd like to also have your myths be featured in next week's episode, please, by all means, put them in the comment section down below or also put them in our Discord, which is linked down below in the description. But as we wrap up, guys, I would just also like to mention a couple more things. That if you would like to financially support the channel, I would tremendously appreciate if you guys could go check out my Patreon. It's also linked down below in all my YouTube video descriptions. Also, please use my supporter creator code BLACKNINJA797 in all caps in the Fortnite and Epic Games item shops. Because Epic is my very first sponsor, and they are sponsoring today's video, so shout out to Epic Games. And lastly, guys, I just also want to let you know that I recently started a business. It is called Breakthrough Business. With Breakthrough, I'm going to be making multiple different psychology-themed courses on how you guys can end up improving things such as your character, your mental health, and also your relationships. 
all this additional content is going to be available at mastermind.com and already within mastermind.com i have my very first course out for you guys which is called the courageous man blueprint how to achieve unbreakable confidence for young men so please check that all out in the description down below but yeah guys i hope you end up enjoying seeing another youtube video from the most unique youtuber you're ever going to see thank you for watching guys all of all of you and peace out hey meme lords jesus here and you better have enjoyed that video there by the eternal god daddy ninja you should probably subscribe too or the mighty moab will come for your balls if you enjoyed the video, you might like it too. And give me the memes. Flash, bang, boom!